Over the course of my field work, I've had uh, opportunities to travel over much of Western North America. In the process of doing that, I've been charged by a moose. Uh, I've had a standoff with a black bear and as well as a mountain lion. But to me, um, none of that field work in sort of the middle of nowhere is nearly as scary as urban field work, um, where we do a lot of work looking for geckos, oftentimes at night. So we biologists look quite a bit like burglars as we have flashlights and we wander around buildings or houses. Um, and one time in La Habra, we were looking for Mediterranean house geckos, a non-native species of gecko. And while we were searching for them, uh, I noticed some flashlights behind, uh, behind part of this building heading our direction, realized that there was an Orange County Sheriff's car off to the right and quickly put my hands up in the air as two Orange County Sheriff's deputies rounded the corner of this building with guns drawn. They quickly saw somebody who was not a threat um, and then I was able to show them the bag of geckos which very clearly confirmed my story of what I was up to um, and they seemed to find the whole thing I think far more entertaining than I did. So we had gone on an expedition to Papua New Guinea and I'd gone with a couple of my postdocs, this was a few years ago, and we were looking for shrimp gobies. We had found a place where they were abundant and they were, it was glorious. We were in a little island off the coast of the mainland. We were diving all day and working really hard catching all these fish. And it was, the site where we were was overlooked by a volcano, a, an active volcano. And as we came up from a dive one day, we noticed that there were helicopters circling the volcano and the volcano had started to smoke. And we were a little concerned about this, but the people that we were with that were running the, the dive operation were unconcerned. And they said, oh yeah, you know, this happens all the time. Don't worry about it. We ended up getting some amazing fish there. We luckily did not get incinerated. The volcano didn't explode. I did, uh, I did get malaria, but other than that, the trip was a big success. There was a, a time that I did some field work in Patagonia in 2007. One day we were kind of coming back from our field work and excavating and we were coming around on a, on a dirt road around kind of a, a corner a little too fast and we started a little fishtail a little bit this way, a little bit that way, a little bit this way again, a little bit that way, and then a little too far that way. And one of the back tires caught um, a little brush on the side of the road and that was just enough to kind of slow us down and, and start the car, the, the truck spinning. So we actually did a, a couple of barrel rolls and it was a little bit like being inside of a washing machine uh, by the time we, we finished out. But fortunately, nobody was badly hurt. At the tail end of that field season, we actually found a brand new species of carnivorous dinosaur. It was discovered by uh, preparator Akiko Shinya uh, and named after her. Um, the genus name, Gualicho, uh, actually has kind of a modern meaning of, of, of bad luck or bad omen in, uh, in Argentina. For the slime project, one of the interesting things that we do is look for biodiversity of snails and slugs in the greater LA area. And what we were interested in looking for uh, about six months ago was a slug called Hesperarian hemphili, which is a, I believe, the only native slug to the LA region. We went on this quest for the slug as we were walking through um, the San Gabriel Mountains in the Chantry Flats area. Cedric Lee, one of our most prolific citizen scientists and a colleague of mine, said, oh, and by the way, as we're walking up this area, you can find lots of Glyptostoma gabrielense, which is a about quarter sized, like deep chocolate brown colored snail that also is endemic basically to just LA. And I said, are you kidding? It is potentially endangered or threatened. Nobody's done any basic natural history research on it. The first rock I picked up, there were three or four of them underneath. And it was like a very nerdy, scientific discovery in in a personal sense like I can't believe they're here and it was one of the most exciting things that has happened to me snail or slug related in the last couple years. 